Hello guys, welcome back to Gaming Tidbits, and today we're going to talk about another Nintendo Entertainment System slash Famicom uh, visual companion book. For those who love like this system in this era, uh, this book is rather interesting. Again, uh, this book blew through its Kickstarter goal. It was only 25000 It's at like 192000 right now. It's blown through all of its current stretch goals of up to 175000 So basically, because it blew through all these stretch goals, uh, first of all, this book will be 434 pages long. Uh, it will have, uh, we'll use some metallic inks. It will include bookmark ribbons. Uh, it'll have like six gold gate folded pages. Uh, it will come with an exclusive 10 track CD with chip tunes from, was it Chibi Tech? It will come with a, a Duskcon uh, vinyl stickers. There's going to be a lot of stuff this book comes with because it blew through all of its, its goals. And the reason why this book kind of blew through all its goals is there's a lot of people involved with gaming. Uh, the foreword's done by a former graphic artist at Rare. Uh, someone who worked at Interplay is involved in it. Uh, there's a lot of people. Nintendo Life. A lot of different people involved with gaming one way or another are involved with this book. And so that's one of the reasons. Obviously, again, when people talk about making a book or a companion novel... The NES slash Famicom is obviously the go-to because for a lot of people today, that is when modern gaming started. Now, clearly, Sega Master System was at that time too. They both were. You can't if you're around that time, you can't think of one without the other because again, they were competing against each other. And like obviously, Sega Nintendo later did famously in the 16-bit era. But the NES for a lot of people was the go-to. So for me, I had Atari 2600, but. When I talk about my childhood gaming, it always starts with the NES. And of course, later goes Super Nintendo. But, would love to see a great Super Nintendo book, N64, all those great systems. But obviously, this is the go-to. This is, For several reasons. One, obviously, this is when gaming started for a lot of people. It's the one that gets the most attention, uh, whether you like it or not. Because, obviously, games are expensive, which draws some people to it, too. All the reasons why this book is made. But for me, it's the love of that you know, that era between the system and the Nintendo Power and, you know, all your friends high when they're playing it. That was my childhood memory. Oh, the book's going to have a cool, uh, like, almost holographic cover where, like, the little uh, NES characters, like, move that around the cover of it, the game. And it's a really cool book. And I think, again, if you want something to read and then when you're done reading it, like, you know, have on yourself to maybe pull it off later, this one wasn't. I don't ever believe in buying a book just so it sits there. I believe if you're going to buy a book, you want to look at it, and hopefully you learn something from it. Now, obviously, 434 pages, this is clearly not going to cover every game that came out on it. I mean, you're not going to get in-depth on every game. Obviously, it'll cover the most popular games or more well-known games on the system. Obviously, it'll probably cover some of the more expensive ones that a lot of people didn't play, just because they're well-known, even though a lot of people may have never played them. So, if you're looking for a big companion book, and listen, if you look at... The pages, they look amazing. Again, uh, one of the great things about people doing books on these today is amazing how these pages look. Uh, and a lot of times feel like Nintendo Power-ish to me. They also did go after permission from two video game magazines, I guess, to use their great uh, game maps and stuff for this book. So again, if you are a fan of that era, this is just another book to put on your radar. I will obviously link... Uh, the Kickstarter below if you're interested because, again, you know, this is definitely a cool thing to have. And not in relatively expensive, but still expensive enough. Probably, you know, the book's more or less, what, soft covers, a little cheaper. A little, like, soft covers, like, cheaper than a full price game but if you want the hardcover version you're going to pay a little bit more than what like a buying a brand new game today would be so not insanely expensive but yet it just depends how much you love that air and how much you want a book like that and to me it's really cool that these books come out give people choices uh you know or, or just have one more thing about that era they love if you love the nes this could be something cool to, to obviously have for that that system that you love or famicom for that matter again both awesome systems uh, they both have, again, certain exclusive games, and that's what makes this system awesome. That, again, Famicom got a lot of games that come out on the NES. NES got some games that didn't come out on the Famicom, which makes it really cool. Anyway, and obviously because homebrew games are made today, these systems, and obviously because of money, because of a lot of people trying to collect the expensive games, 
this system's always in the limelight. And, of course, Nintendo is still around making consoles and games, and that only draws the value of that even higher. The day Nintendo ever, like, were to stop making a system, they would only draw the value of that stuff even higher than it is now. Anyway, what do you guys think of it? Would you be interested in this book? Are you like, you know what, I've got a, one already, or, you know, it's cool, but I don't need this type of thing. Because, again, just because you live there, it doesn't necessarily mean you want this type of book. Maybe you, you like, have a massive collection, and or maybe you have a book like this, and you don't need another one. But, anyway, love to hear your guys' opinions, like always. Would you like this type of book? In your collection, or you're like, you know what? I already have enough, and I don't need it. Anyway, thanks for watching, like always, guys. I'll make another video soon. Laters!